celebrity inspired tutorial. This is for Imogen Poots. I think that's how you say her name. But she is an actress in the upcoming movie, That Awkward Moment, which I'm actually going to be giving away two movie tickets to that movie. So stay tuned to the end of this video if you want to see how you can win those. So I'm going to be recreating the look that she was wearing in the movie. It's a very dark, kind of smudgy looking eyeliner that I've been wanting to actually show you guys how to do because I love wearing this if I just want a smoky eye. It's actually very easy to do. It looks complicated, but it's very easy. You just smudge out some black liner, and I'm going to show you some tips and stuff on how to do that. So I did the full face actually. So make sure you click the link down below. It's going to be the first link in the description. That's going to take you to the blog post that goes with this video and that will have all the products that I use listed on there if you're interested on where you can purchase them. So I will also link the picture down below that I use for the inspiration for this look. So if you want to compare them, see how accurate I was and let me know in the comments what you think about it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to first start off my face makeup by using a primer. This is going to ensure that my makeup goes on smoothly and it lasts all day. Now using a beauty blender, I'm just going to apply a BB cream all over my face. I like using a BB cream because it looks a lot more natural and I just want to even out my skin tone, not use a heavy foundation. Now I'm just going to apply some concealer under my eyes just to conceal any dark circles and I'm also going to be concealing any dark spots on my face. Now I'm just applying some powder to my face using a kabuki brush. I like using a powder over top just because it sets everything and it keeps it in place and it also adds a little bit more coverage over top of the BB cream. Now I'm just going to be contouring my cheekbones. I like to do this just to add a little bit more dimension to my face so it's not so flat. Or you could use this same powder and apply it as a bronzer too if you want. But I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheeks and also around the sides of my forehead and also some of my nose. And I'm also using a powder brush just to bring that down my neck as well. Then I'm using the Model Co Cheek and Lip Tint and I'm just applying a little bit of this to a tissue. Then I'm just going to be taking a small stipple brush and pick up a little bit of the color on that. You could also dab it off on the tissue if you pick up too much. And I'm just going to very gently apply some of this to my cheeks. You don't want to apply too much and you want to work quickly so it doesn't dry on you. I really like using these liquid blushes because they actually last a whole lot longer and they look super natural. Then I'm just gently going over that with my kabuki brush just to blend everything out. For my eyebrows, I'm just mixing a little bit of brow wax with some brow powder and then I'm just combing it out with a spoolie and then I'm just going to be filling in the areas that are sparse or missing hair. You don't want to fill in your entire eyebrow, that will look more unnatural. I'm just keeping this very soft and natural looking. Before my eyeshadow, I like to apply an eyeshadow primer. This keeps it from creasing and it also makes the colors appear more vibrant. The first shadow, I'm just going to apply a matte skin tone all over my lid using a fluffy blending brush. And I'm also taking this color up to my brow bone. Still the question. Now I'm taking the Model Co Black Eyeliner Pencil and I'm just going to very messily smudge this into my upper lash line. I'm also going to take it in a little bit farther than I usually do. I'm going to try to keep the line very thin though on the inside. And then I'm also going to be applying it to my lower lash line and making a slight wing as well. And don't worry about this being perfect because we're going to smudge it all out. No who misplaced the memo and life got me wandering around in the dark in the dark and I'm also applying it to my waterline as well now I'm going to be taking this dark brown purplish color and I'm using a very tiny flat shader brush this one's very dense and it's also really great for smudging and you want to make sure you hold a tissue underneath your eye that's to prevent any fallout from falling onto your cheekbones if you don't have a brush like this, you can always just use a pencil brush or you can use a little sponge tip applicator. Those work really well too. And it always ends up that it's always my fault. I'm also going to be doing the same thing to the lower lash line. I'm also going to be going over the little wing that I created. Then I just mixed two different shimmery champagne shadows and I just applied that to the inner corners and I also brought it onto my lid. 
Then I'm applying a brown eyeshadow using a pencil brush. I'm just going to continue smudging this. I want this liner to have a little bit of a fade from the darkest shade being closest to my lash line and fading up to a lighter shade as it goes up. Then I'm just taking an even lighter brown and I'm just going to continue that fade up. Taking that same light brown shade and applying that to my lower lash line as well. Then I'm just blending everything out using a clean blending brush. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And then I'm just applying one coat of black mascara. Now I'm applying the Ofra 3D Loose Shadow in Diamond Glitz and I'm just applying this as a top coat over top of that brown eyeshadow. This is a gorgeous brown shade that has this iridescent blue-green tint to it so it really makes the shadows look more olive green. It's just really beautiful and it complements my eyes perfectly. And I'm just using that same small flat shader brush and just going over what I already did just to add that something extra to it. Definitely make sure you apply this loose shadow before you do your mascara. I totally forgot so I had to go back after I already had my mascara on one eye because it gets all over your mascara so make sure you do it in the right order unlike me. So this is just with one coat of mascara on but I wanted to add a little something extra. Now I'm going to be using a sample of the Blink mascara that I got. It says stop painting your lashes to tube them so this is like one of those mascaras that puts like a tube over top your lashes. It's supposed to hold the curl longer and make them look longer and everything and I just like using this as a top coat over top of my other mascara. And you can totally see the difference. My lashes look so much longer. For my lips, I'm using the Be A Bombshell Lip Gloss in the shade Topless. This is a great lip gloss if you like those really thick lip glosses that stay on all day. It's actually very comfortable to wear at the same time and it's a really pretty dark nude color. In the movie, Imogen is wearing like a multicolored glitter on her nails and it's just very natural looking at the same time but really sparkly and pretty. And this is the Nubar Nail Polish in Crystal. That is it for my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments down below if you think I was pretty spot on accurate. I will have the trailer link down below if you guys want to check out the movie. It will be in theaters January 31st. Um, also, I will be giving away two tickets to the movie, so if you guys want to enter for those, be sure to leave me a comment down below telling me if you're excited to go see it, whatever you want. You can even leave me a video request if you'd like to do that because I am taking requests at the moment. So just anything you want, just avoid saying enter me too many times. Be sure you're also subscribed to this channel because it's a giveaway for my subscribers, of course. So all of the rules and everything will be listed down below. It's only going to be one winner. I'm giving away two tickets. That way you can go with a friend or whoever you want. So, And some of the products used in this video were actually courtesy of Beauty Box 5. I actually did a review on Beauty Box 5 a while back, so I will link that video for you guys down below in the description as well. So please go check out Beauty Box 5. It's a subscription service. They have some really great products and they work with some really good brands. And so it's a really great affordable monthly subscription box. I also wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that Beauty Box 5 is having a sweepstakes going on on their Facebook page right now. You can enter to win a $300 spa package for two, merchandise signed by the cast of That Awkward Moment, and also a custom beauty box from them. So I'll have the link down below where you can enter to win those things. So comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye everybody. <laughs>